Individually, the algae are tiny, but together they produce three quarters of all the oxygen in our atmosphere. They're eaten by an array of bewildering creatures. Salps appear in the plankton soup. Individuals link together to form chains which can stretch for 15 meters. Pumping water through their bodies, they strain out algae and other edible particles. Comb jellies cruise through the water. They too flourish in this seasonal soup, and for short periods they appear in astounding numbers. Krill. Shrimp-like creatures. By weight, they're the most abundant animals on the planet. A single swarm can contain two million tons of them. I was such a fool, Bill. Will, can you imagine? Those days are gone. Carnivore's over. No, it's because. And that is a lot of fish food. How there were predators. How we had to adapt. I led them here under the great ice. No one can find us here. Bill, we're still at the bottom of the food chain. The shallow temperate seas support the greatest concentrations of fish on our planet. Huge shoals migrate from their overwintering grounds in the depths to feed in these rich waters. It's these shoals that support most of the world's sea mammals. Sea lions have all the agility and speed needed to collect what they want, and seemingly delight in doing so. Dusky dolphin, often in pods 200 strong, work together to reap the harvest. They break up the shoals into smaller, more manageable balls, and all the hunters benefit. By midsummer, the surface nutrients have all been absorbed. The algae die and the food chain collapses. In a few special places, however, the temperate seas sustain these levels of life throughout the summer. Along the coast of California, ocean currents carry a constant supply of nutrients up from the depths to the surface layers. These upwellings fertilize forests of giant kelp that thrive in the summer sunshine. 